I watched uh, Roadhouse over the weekend, and uh, actually, I watched the, uh, the it's the reboot of uh, Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal. I watched Sunday morning. I watched yesterday morning. So I had to get ready for March Madness after that. But I thought, what better way to get ready for some action than watch the reboot of Roadhouse? So Jake Gyllenhaal, big time actor, and he's in uh, the role that Patrick Swayze had. Now he has the last same last name Dalton. Uh, his first name is like Elwood. And then I don't know what Patrick Swayze's first name was. His last name was Dalton. He just went by Dalton. But uh, like James Dalton or something like that. But Jake Gyllenhaal is uh, the star. And he's the best bouncer in the world or something like that. Officially ranked. Yes. That somehow they had a ranking system, but he's the best bouncer. And he ends up in the Florida Keys. And he's going to uh, help clean up this place. He's hired $5,000 a week to come in and clean this place up because there's some bad guys in there. Dang, that's some good money. Yeah, it is. Five grand a week? Well, he is the number one bouncer in the world. Oh, five star. Yeah. Uh, but So he goes there and uh, trouble ensues. So he is a former UFC fighter or MMA fighter who actually killed somebody in the ring. And... He's kind of trying to distance himself from that. He's no longer a fighter, uh, even though his job is to fight uh, when he needs to. So the, the the movie opens up. Post Malone is uh, fighting somebody. All right. <laughs> Post has his shirt off fighting somebody. Hey, Post And uh, a lot of nudity in there, but uh, all men, by the way. Uh, Post has his shirt off, and then Jake Gyllenhaal comes in, takes his shirt off, and then Post Malone goes, no, I'm not going to fight you. And then they give Jake Gyllenhaal the money. And then next thing we see is he's down in the Florida Keys, taking, uh, you know, trying to help out <laughs> this woman there in the bar. And uh, so Conor McGregor is in there. He's the villain. Too much Conor McGregor. I mean, like, in a variety of ways. Because mm. when we first see him, uh, he's naked from behind walking. Uh, and... I mean, I okay, I, I, I get, you know, all right, fine. And then it was like a little more Conor McGregor than I needed. And it felt like he was in maybe two or three scenes too many because he didn't have much variance in his acting. It was the same look, the same act, every, you know. And uh, they probably could have used him in a better way, a little <laughs> bit more strategically. But... Uh, yeah, you, you see him, I think he's in a foreign country, and he walks out of an apartment, and he doesn't have clothes on, and then he goes and gets clothes and then burns down like this whole little area where he could buy clothes, which I didn't understand. Now, maybe he didn't want to pay or something. But uh, yeah, they fight, and a couple of fight scenes with him and Jake Gyllenhaal. So is this a review or a recap? It's a recap review. A review cap? Yeah. Re okay, got it, got cap. it. I didn't know we were going to do the whole plot summary. And, and then... And then what, yeah. <laughs> and see, then at the end what happens I'm not is he gets what, back in the ring and kills a guy again. I'm not going to tell you what happens <laughs> in the end. I, I'm just giving you some yeah. of the highlights. And then he meets a girl. Yeah, but, you know, not fireworks the way maybe you were hoping that, like Patrick Swayze and uh, who was it, Kelly Lynch? Ooh. Who was it? Kelly Lynch. Yeah. Come on. I know. All right. Come on, Kelly Lynch. Man. Kelly Lynch. Do you know what happens every time the movie is on? I think I've told you this story. <laughs> it's the best. So Bill Murray uh, told me the story that whenever Kelly Lynch, uh, whenever Roadhouse is on and there's a, a nude scene in there, they call Kelly Lynch's uh, uh, husband. And uh, it's Mitch Glazer. I think they're still married. And then says, hey, your wife is naked on TV right now. <laughs> So Bill Murray does that, and uh, I, I think it's awesome <laughs> that they do that. It's, it's pretty great. Yeah, they're going to be, hey, your uh, wife's naked. <laughs> go, All right. That's a good, that's a good bit. Um, so would I recommend uh, Roadhouse the reboot? If Jake Gyllenhaal was joining us next, then I would say, yeah. Because he's good. I mean, he's he's a great actor. I like that movie uh, where he was the uh, MMA fighter. I forget what it was called, but he plays a movie where he's yes. an MMA fighter and like his life is all crazy and stuff. That was really good. Was that he, Southpaw? Uh, could be. Yeah, maybe. 
I thought Nightcrawler, he was awesome. He's, he's a good actor. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He, he's the kind of actor that if he's in it, I'm like, oh, I'll give this a yeah. chance. And that's what I did. Um, Post Malone, uh, all right. Conor McGregor, all right. Um, yeah. If if you need to fill up like two hours and you don't have to think too much, then yeah, I would recommend it. Yes, Paul? When I saw the promo for this movie and I saw Jake Gyllenhaal and I'm like, this is a pretty big time Hollywood actor. I mean, pretty much. Is, is it somewhat serious or is it like hokey, campy, they're in on the joke? No, it's serious. It's a serious movie. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. mean, Conor McGregor's in it. Yeah. yeah. He yes. didn't play an Irish tough guy. Yes, Todd. <laughs> I know most movies, especially sequels, aren't necessary, but... It sounds like you'd say this wasn't necessary to make. Or is there like a little small faction of people that were obsessed with the first one that were dying for some Well, this isn't the first sequel or reboot. They had a roadhouse and then they had another roadhouse. Take it outside or something like that. And I mean, (laughs) if we're speaking about the small faction of people who are obsessed with the movie Roadhouse, I'm looking at two of them right now that would be all over something like this. No, I wasn't. I didn't need it. It, It'd be like, you know, when they did Brian's song and they go, we're going to redo Brian's song. I go, no, you you can't do it any better than James Conn and Billy Dee Williams. We've already hit Achieve Perfection once. Why would we try to go at it again kind of thing? Well, Star is Born has been done four times. Yeah, that's a good movie. But it's been done four times. And uh, I think it ends the same way in all four. But, uh, you know, is that the record? Like, what is the record of a movie that has been redone? Not not a sequel, but just been redone. A Star is Born, I think that, I think it's four times, maybe. Yeah, Paul? Yeah, if you don't count movies that are, uh, reboot means the same script, new actors, basically, right? So you wouldn't count, like, Dracula and Frankenstein and James Bond, really. Cause that's like a series. Yeah, those are different, different a, scripts. Yeah, A Star Is Born is the one. It's been done four times. Okay. Yeah, 